Hi, welcome back to Dr. O'Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the ALT blood test. And we're going to be covering three main things. What is ALT? Secondly, why is the test used? And finally, how do you interpret the test? So first of all, what is ALT? Well, ALT stands for alanine aminotransferase, and it's an enzyme found mostly in the liver. It's a part of a panel of blood tests commonly referred to as liver function tests, also known by the shorthand term LFTs, and you'll probably hear this term on the ward regularly. Other a LFTs include alkaline phosphatase, gamma GT, and aspartate aminotransferase, otherwise known as AST, all of which I'll cover in later videos in the next couple of months, so make sure you subscribe to the channel not to miss these. So why is ALT requested? Given that we now know ALT is produced in the liver, this gives you a bit of a clue as to why healthcare professionals such as doctors might request the test, and that's to see how the liver's working. When liver cells are damaged, they release ALT from inside the liver cells into the bloodstream. An ALT test measures the amount of ALT in the blood. High levels of ALT in the blood can indicate a liver problem even before you have clinical signs of liver disease, such as jaundice, which is the condition which causes your skin and eyes to turn yellow, dark urine, or a mass in the upper right-hand side of the abdomen, which could be an enlarged liver. An ALT blood test may therefore be helpful in early detection of liver disease. Examples of liver disease which may affect ALT include things such as hepatitis, alcoholic liver disease, a family history of liver disease, and medications which negatively affect the liver, which are known as hepatotoxic agents. So what does the result mean? Well, according to the American College of Gastroenterology, the normal value for ALT in blood for people without risk factors for liver disease ranges from 29 to 33 international units per litre for males, and 19 to 25 international units per litre for females, and the value can vary depending on the lab. So what happens when an ALT result is high? Well, first of all, if the ALT levels are really high, for example, 10 times the normal level, this is usually due to the viral infection hepatitis. And in this acute phase, the raised ALT levels can take around six months to return to normal. When hepatitis is more established and in the chronic phase, ALT levels will still be high, but instead of being almost 10 times as high, they're likely to be around four times as high. For this reason, if the medical team looking after the patient notice a raised ALT level, they'll likely request several LFT blood panels in order to see the pattern in the ALT. A reasonably high ALT can also occur occasionally when there's high alcohol intake, diabetes, or raised serum triglycerides all of which can cause fatty liver. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please check out the links in the description box for more information. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, bye.